Meet the VBAT, a completely jam-proof drone operating in Ukraine right now. In a year that has seen drones dominating the battlefield narrative on YouTube and in the news, the VBAT from Shield AI has emerged as the underdog, punching way above its weight class. Think of it as the Elon Musk of drones, unconventional, boundary pushing, and a little too smug for its own good. The vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle has been busy making waves in Ukraine, where it has faced off against Russia's best electronic warfare efforts and walked away unfazed. Hey friends, Wes here, multi-branch veteran and this video might sound like I'm sponsored by Shield AI. I'm not. I'm just smitten with technology. Shield AI confirmed that VBAT drones were deployed in Ukraine starting in June of 2024. The mission? Survive, adapt, and overcome. Basically the UAV version of Rocky. Shield AI developers even tagged along to watch their babies' first steps in combat. Turns out their faith wasn't misplaced. These drones completed missions under some of the toughest conditions imaginable, shrugging off GPS and communications jamming like it was just another Tuesday at Bennigan's. One standout mission involved locating a Russian SA-11 Buk M1 air defense missile system. The VBAT not only sniffed out the target, but relayed data to Ukrainian forces who promptly turned the missile system into modern art using HIMARS rockets. For those keeping score at home, VBAT 1, Buk 0. What sets the VBAT's performance in Ukraine apart is its resilience in the face of constant interference. Russian forces, known for their pesky EW capabilities, have deployed sophisticated jamming systems throughout the conflict. These systems aim to disrupt communications and navigation, rendering most UAVs ineffective. But the VBAT has consistently outmaneuvered these threats demonstrating the kind of autonomy that gives it a decisive edge. The battlefield conditions in Ukraine offered a true stress test for the VBAT's capabilities. Beyond identifying high-value targets like air defense systems, the drones were also tasked with ISR, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions in regions saturated with both Russian and Ukrainian jamming devices. Remarkably, the VBAT managed to complete these missions without requiring constant operator intervention. It's a testament to its onboard AI and navigation systems. What's more, the VBAT's compact and mobile design proved invaluable in the dynamic and often unpredictable theater of war. Ukrainian forces were able to deploy the drone quickly and from virtually any location, including remote and rugged areas where traditional UAVs would struggle to operate. This adaptability made it an essential tool for rapid response scenarios, where time was critical in identifying and neutralizing Russian threats. As if that weren't enough, the VBAT's ability to operate in swarms, working collaboratively with other units, added another layer of effectiveness. In one instance, a group of VBATs worked in tandem to survey a heavily contested area, triangulate enemy positions, and provide real-time intelligence to ground forces. This coordinated effort not only enhanced situational awareness, but also minimized risks to human operators. By August of 2024, follow-up experiments demonstrated the VBAT's ability to operate deep within contested zones, identifying and relaying targeting data for other high-value targets, such as command centers and artillery positions. These missions highlighted the drone's versatility, proving it could perform beyond its original ISR role to support direct action operations. So what is the VBAT? Well, this isn't your average mall kiosk drone. The Shield AI MQ-35A VBAT is a cutting edge marvel, standing nine feet tall with a wingspan of 9.7 feet. It's equipped with a single engine ducted fan design that allows vertical takeoff and landing from virtually anywhere, naval ships, urban alleys, or even your backyard though HOA approval might be tricky. What truly sets the VBAT apart is its blend of simplicity and sophistication. Its single engine ducted fan isn't just a design flourish, it's an essential feature and it enables operations in confined spaces. Unlike traditional winged drones that require runways or catapults, the VBAT can launch and recover almost anywhere. 
making it a versatile option for expeditionary missions. It's basically a winged ISR drone that can take off like a quadcopter drone. Now remember, expeditionary missions mean where a unit is cut off from the normal supply chain. The VBAT excels in this expeditionary capacity. The VBAT carries an impressive suite of sensors, including electro-optical infrared cameras for high resolution imagery, a laser designator for precision targeting, and even synthetic aperture radar for all weather surveillance. This arsenal allows operators to conduct detailed reconnaissance, identify high value targets, and support precision strikes all in a day's work. Its onboard AI, powered by Shield AI's HiveMind software, is like having a co-pilot that's never wrong. From obstacle avoidance to route planning, the software enables the VBAT to adapt dynamically to mission demands. For example, in GPS denied environments, a staple of modern conflict, the VBAT relies on its autonomous navigation system to find its way. And it does all this without requiring constant human operator input, freeing up the controllers to focus on strategic decisions. The VBAT's endurance and service ceiling are equally impressive, with the ability to stay airborne for over 10 hours. It's a persistent presence in the sky, capable of monitoring large areas and loitering over critical zones. Its 20,000 foot service ceiling keeps it well out of reach of most ground-based threats, adding an extra layer of survivability to its missions. Another standout feature is its modular design, which allows operators to customize payloads based on mission requirements. Whether it's swapping in advanced surveillance equipment or equipping precision-guided munitions, the VBAT can adapt to a variety of roles. This modularity ensures that operators aren't locked into a single-use platform, making the VBAT a cost-effective solution for militaries worldwide. To top it off, the VBAT's compact size and efficient fuel consumption make it an ideal choice for operations requiring quick deployment and minimal logistical support. In essence, the VBAT is a masterclass in balancing form and function. It's not just a drone, it's a multi-role tool that's redefining what UAVs can accomplish on the modern battlefield. But the VBAT's real secret is its autonomy. Russia's infamous jamming capabilities have turned many UAVs into expensive paperweights. Not the VBAT. This drone operates independently of GPS thanks to an onboard navigation system that could probably calculate its way out of an IKEA, the most confusing navigational challenge known to man. Even if communications are lost, the VBAT carries on like a true professional, completing its objectives autonomously. What makes this autonomy possible is the VBAT's advanced artificial intelligence suite, which integrates dynamic obstacle avoidance, route planning, and mission adaptation. The drone doesn't just react to challenges, it anticipates them. For instance, if a flight path is compromised, the VBAT can autonomously reroute itself to ensure mission completion. This level of independence is critical in high threat environments where human intervention might not be feasible. Shield AI's HiveMind AI software is the engine behind this intelligence. The software processes data from multiple sensors in real time, enabling the VBAT to recognize and respond to rapidly changing battlefield conditions. In coordinated missions, multiple VBATs can share information, synchronize their movements, and work collaboratively to achieve complex objectives. This capability was demonstrated during a simulated wildfire scenario where three VBATs autonomously detected, identified, and relayed critical data without relying on GPS or external communication. This autonomy isn't just about reducing operator workload. It's about redefining the role of UAVs in modern warfare. By minimizing the need for constant human oversight, the VBAT frees up resources, allowing operators to focus on strategic decision-making rather than micromanaging uh, drone operations. In a landscape where speed and adaptability can mean the difference between success and failure, the VBAT's autonomy is its ultimate superpower. The VBAT's adaptability makes it a Swiss Army knife for modern combat. Need reconnaissance? Done. Target acquisition? Easy. Needed to carry precision-guided munitions like the hatchet glide munition? Check. 
In fact, during U.S. Army's trials in 2023, the V-Bat's belly bay delivered a hatchet with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker jealous. While Russia sticks to throwing waves of cheap drones at the problem, Shield AI's philosophy is about intelligent mass. Why rely on a single multi-million dollar UAV when you can deploy four VBATs for the same cost? As Armor Harris, Shield AI's VP of Aircraft Engineering put it, quote, you don't need exquisite platforms when you have autonomy and scale, end quote. The VBAT's birthplace is Shield AI's Dallas, Texas facility, affectionately dubbed the Bat Cave. With a production capacity of six to 10 units daily, the company is churning out these drones faster than Russia could come up with excuses for losing theirs. In Ukraine, the VBAT has not only survived, but thrived, dodging Russian jamming systems and proving that small, nimble, and autonomous beats big and clunky every time, and beats their ridiculous fiber optic drones. As Harris aptly summarized, quote, we've put it up against Russia's best jammers, and it's been able to take those head on, end quote. With over 250 units delivered globally, including to U.S. Special Operations Command and soon to the U.S. Coast Guard, the VBAT is rewriting the rules of aerial warfare. In a world where innovation is the difference between victory and defeat, Shield AI's VBAT is leading the charge, one jam-proof mission at a time. That's it for today, friends. If you like this video, YouTube will definitely keep serving this stuff up to you, whether or not you're subscribed. That's just the nature of their system. But subscribing really does help the channel grow and helps me personally. Only 10% of my viewers are subscribed, so if you hate authoritarians as much as I do, consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Slava Ukraini.